and then he had haircut and all his hair fell down and then all those hair torn into the trees oh. and it became the forest and he had some lice also inside of his hair and all lice became the monkeys it's a legendary so that's a legend yes okay yes okay would you mind follow me i'm a legend too Semuna. Semuna. Yeah, which means self existent one. And it's as a nickname we call that Monkey Temple, which is one of the oldest Buddhist temple. And it's going to be one of the world heritage sites too, uh, since 1979 by UNESCO. So here are many monkeys, that's why the name has been given as a nickname, the Monkey Temple. But actually, the name of this temple is Soyambunath. This is the Buddhist temple. Buddhist actually. temple. This is the Buddhist temple. And this is how old is that temple actually? Uh, more than 2,000 years old. All right. Yeah. And what's the like religious importance of that for the uh, Buddhists? This, uh, last time the Kathmandu Valley was a lake. And when it was a lake and one of the people who is one of the Bodhisattvas from China called Manjushri, he came to Kathmandu. And he saw the seats. And after six months, it blows them with thousand petals and all these things. And they were surprised. And it was the shrine, the Swaminath, which temple is right now is situated. And they started to think about that something very important is here. So it's being just established as one of the oldest Buddhist shrine, as Soyambu. That's the significance about. And from here, we can see one of the best view of the Kathmandu. City as well. Yes. Okay. And this is the architecture. Here is something different. And the architecture it is called the stupa. Stupa. Stupa, yes. And this stupa architecture has got something different feature. It has got some eyes, two eyes in each of the direction. So altogether eight eyes are there. And the symbol of the eyes are compassion and wisdom. And it is also said that the eyes are Buddha. So we cannot Buddha tell a lie in front of eyes of Buddha. Yes. Nice. The founder of this Kathmandu, you know, as per Buddhist religious version, is Manjushri. And when he just found this Kathmandu as a city, and at that time he had very long hair, and, he, and then he had haircut, and all his hair fell down, and then all those hair torn into the trees, oh. and it became the forest, and he had some lice also inside of his hair, and all lice became the monkeys. It's a legendary. So that's a legend? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Would you mind follow me? I'm a legend too. Nice legend, so Interesting. You can also have a nice view from the, of the Kathmandu city from here. Kathmandu Valley, they call it. This is like a lush green area. Quite nice. Hmm. I like this. This tuba is different. And that is the Swaimbunath. We cannot enter there. It's a solid made of bricks and stones. It is supposed to be something relics of Buddha is kept inside. Yes, white one. And just all around there are the prayer wheels where it is written the hymn. Om Mane Peme Hum. It is in Tibetan letters. Inside there is the rice paper. So whenever we go to the Buddhist temple, they hold in their hands the prayer wheels. Some of them hold in their hands the prayer bits and they murmur the same hymn. Om Mane Peme Hum. Like that saying. If one recites one billion times, it is supposed to be they are going to be enlightened. It's a belief. So whenever we make the circle of the temples or the stupas monuments, it should be the clockwise direction. And as I told you, we cannot enter. That is the solid, right? And just back of that, there is like the balcony from where you can see one of the best view. In front of the eyes of Buddha, we cannot hide anything. So everything is open secret. Every things should be opened okay so we have to be very honest and in the center you can see like the question mark it's not the question mark this is the symbol of unification numerically it is called ik ik means one ik means 
one okay so we write it like this the symbol of unity unity is strand and you can see the 13 circles so the those are the 13 steps to be enlightened so that is a stupa architecture and that is the hindu temple the other one pagoda architecture smaller one. Uh, a smaller one and you can take picture everywhere but while you will be on the right hand side in the main entrance gate of that temple you are not allowed to take the picture of inside statue of Harati Mata and this is Pagoda that is Ishtupa and the further one that is the Sikhar architecture what's important about the white one that is the Patapur and Anantapur we call that right so the name of the king was Patamalla and his queen name is Ananta Tripura Sundari so on the name of Patamalla and his consort queen Anantapur those two Sikhar architectures temples were built these are the memorials uh, Pratapur and Anantapur and they were um, um, Buddhists? no no Hindus the Hindus. king the king but these are Buddhist temples yeah this is a Hindu temple but they were also very much devoted to the Buddhist gods and goddesses how they were like initially they were built by Hindus yeah and how they were no 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 it doesn't mean to say that the names of these uh, all these are the Buddhist temples okay. but on the name of the king and queen okay. just as a memory as they made it. yes as a respect so there's nothing inside that mm, it's something uh, it said that during the time of 18th century the war broke in between uh, Nepal and Tibet some of the weapons which were seized and which were used those weapons were stored but we have never seen it is said like that Yes, Sikara architecture temple there one just behind there okay so Sikara, Stupa and Pagora and these are called as Chotans in Tibetan language in Nepal we call that Chaite these are the memorials just people where they started to live here and they saw that one and they wanted to copy it so these are cites. These are not very old, like 17th century, something like that. But very interesting facts. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. explaining. Thank you.